timeless classic prim looks from my boudoir. And as always, please hang out until the end for the mini photo shoot that I provide for you at the conclusion of every episode. And today's episode happens to be extra special. Not only are we going to be talking about how to age with style, but we're going to be styling my birthday suits for you. That is right. This week, this coming week, I have a birthday actually on Thursday, the 18th. But this entire week, I'm going to be celebrating these looks, you know, because as you know, when you age, aging has a lot to do with how you carry yourself, you know, confidently with fortitude and on a mission. I know some people carry that off better than others, but it is just my personality type and things that I have actually um, historically engaged in um, that I think keep me young and aging gracefully. Yes, I am in the 50 plus, dare I say it, um, age range. That is right. I won't say exactly what it is, but I am 50 plus. That's right? Can you believe it? But I don't feel it at all. As I have alluded to in previous episodes, I have competed in bodybuilding and fitness almost 10 years I competed. I am an active gym goer and enthusiast. Um, I am a yoga practitioner. I love it. It is the perfect amalgamation of mind, body, spirit connection that I have found literally in the past couple years or so. So it really does do it for me in terms of just, you know, keeping um, spry and fit. But there are other tri tricks and tips that you can have in your arsenal to keep you again stylish going into that aging period, as they say. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, going downhill or um, a death sentence or some place that, you know, aging doesn't have to be some place that you go to just wait to be put out to pasture. Because again, I don't feel that way at all. So some quick tips that I want to give to you um, that I think will help you in uh, looking your very best as you age, no matter the age, but looking your very best as you age. And um, just some things that I uh, know that have helped me as I have aged along the way, like drinking water. I know that it's kind of a euphemism where people say all the time, drink your water, sis, drink your water and mind your business. But drinking water is very important. Um, as you probably are aware, some may not be, but your body is 60% water. So if you're dehydrated, your skin is going to look like it. <coughs> Excuse me. It will show up in your skin. So stay hydrated, my friends. That's right. Um, one of the other things that's super important is getting good rest, getting good recuperative sleep. And if you're not moving, you're not likely to sleep very well at night. Um, because the body needs um, the opportunity to rejuvenate, right? So you have to give it something to do in the course of the day. So move, 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 sleep, sleep, sleep. So yes, water, copious amounts of sleep, at least seven to eight hours of sleep at minimum, right? And you must move. You have to move your body. There are so many people that I have come to learn about in recent years um, because my age group is starting to head toward retirement. And um, once they stop moving, then illness and sickness and all of these phantom problems start to set into the body because they stop moving. So find something to do. Just keep moving, move at least a half an hour a day, even if you just walk, but get out there and walk briskly. Again, I have been an active person my entire life. So not just in bodybuilding and fitness, but I love adventure sports like skydiving and snorkeling and things like that. Um, it's, I know that's a bit extreme. That's a bit, a bit dangerous and most of you will want to stay on the ground, but uh, things like that, those are super important. Just move, very important. And let's see, one other thing that I think has been really helpful for me is having a community of women that will support you and that lift you up and cheer you on, but somebody that you can go there for, for uh, go to for those just because things, you know, just running things by. I have a really good girlfriend um, that I speak to 
uh, often and we just run things by each other. We check in with each other. I actually have a couple of girls, girlfriends that way. You don't need a big community, but you need a select few that will keep you going, that will tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. So having a very supportive community is also imperative to keep you aging gracefully and without stress and obvious wear and tear on the body. And then one other tip that I want to leave you with in terms of aging gracefully and with style, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Uh, I had some comments, uh, questions in the comments as to what do I do for my skincare routine? And I am going to dedicate an entire episode to that. But in terms of just the basics right now, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Yes, there are other steps and things that you can do and products that I'll speak to you about. But it is super important, even with black skin, that you moisturize. I go outside every day. I have a dog that I walk every day. Um, and I even moisturize when I'm taking him outside. Even if I'm going to the gym, I still moisturize. So as I said, to the top again, the basics, quick tips to put in your arsenal right now, water, 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 hydrate, 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 move, move, move. You must move. Get copious amounts of sleep. Again, at least seven to eight hours of sleep. Make sure that you have a wonderful community around you. Doesn't matter if it's a lot of numbers. It's actually preferable that you only have about one or two girlfriends because you know you don't want to share your business with every, everyone, right? Right? And then again, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. That is those things are at its core what has kept me looking the way that I do at my age. So yes, again, my birthday is this Thursday, April 18th. I am a proud Aries, April Aries woman. So I'm looking forward to it, turning another year. Again, I don't feel my age at all. And um, it, that I attribute that to all of the things that I just gave to you that you will now start to incorporate into your life if you're not indeed already doing those things. So moving on to our style inspirations, my birthday suits that I have for you that I have styled for you in celebration of my grand rising again, my birthday. So look number one, I started with this beautiful Baroque Rococo and that is, you know, this particular pattern that was very prominent in the Baroque period, Rococo, the Rococo style. Um, isn't this just a beautiful print, right? This is a Zara blazer. And I've had this blazer, I think, about 10, 12 years. But she is stunning. It is the tuxedo collar on it, if you can tell there, especially with the, the print kind of masking uh, the structure of the jacket. But isn't it just stunning? Just beautiful, right? This is a Zara blazer again. And I actually paired it with these trousers. These trousers in like this mute matted mauve co color. These trousers are from the limited edition collection of the Scandal collection. Remember the limited um, which I don't think is around anymore. If there are, someone let me know in the comments, uh, any of those stores, those brick and mortar stores left the limited. I know Express is, they're all owned by the same parent company, but I haven't seen a limited around in a long time. But you remember Carrie Washington in Scandal? This is from her collection that she had with the limited, right? And actually have another blazer, a blazer that goes with this, uh, these trousers. So it is an actual suit. But of course, I didn't want to go matchy matchy for this look. I really wanted to do something special, right? And of course, you're going to see all the balloons in the background of the video that I'm popping, popping up for you because I styled each one of these looks intentionally to be festive with balloons. So whomever um, follows me on Instagram at Suit Souls by EPP, you'll see the entire week that everything that I post will have some balloons in it. So get ready. I, I make no apologies. The um, soles in the handbag that I married with that look, 
These are a pair of another pair of my Amina Jalils. Remember I told you uh, in one of my previous videos, um, I have another pair of shoes from her. These are a bit costly, um, but they're made so beautifully. This is called um, the Tuxedo Pump. If you were to, and, and I think they're still available. If they are, I will link them for you. But I think I've had these about seven, eight years now, but these, they're beautifully just detailed with this satin all the way through this five inch heel. Again, these are not for the faint of heart. So you need to be ready to boss up in these because that five inch heel will make you feel every bit of it. Though it does have a wonderful, wonderful cushioned um, footbed in it, but look at the detailing in this stunning rhinestone bow on the top. Again, these are called the tuxedo by Amina Jalil. She is an African-American um, shoe designer out of Las Vegas. She's a former dancer too, but yes, she is a um, footwear shoe designer. I'm sure many of you have heard of her. She became very popular again about maybe eight years ago and her shoe wear is stunning, stunning. Amina Jalil, right? And then I went with my little Minodier from Nina Shoes, right? Just super cute. I've linked this one before. It is still available on the website. But just a beautiful pairing, right? Stunning. And again, yes, the thing that I love about this Nina handbag is the little rhinestone clasp on the top there for opening and closing. Again, comes with a chain for shoulder and crossbody wear, but just marries beautifully with the rhinestone bow detailing on the top, right? Beautiful. Moving on to look number two. Look number two. I went with this dress. Remember I told you I had three suits and one dress. Look at this beauty. Look at that. All of this sequence strategically placed on this really bias cut, meaning it comes right up under its, uh, as you probably can tell on the screen, right up under the bodice area secured there with these flared, uh, just really wide sleeves on it. And these are three quarter sleeves, right? And then ties in the back. Beautiful, just stunning. I've worn this once um, for a performance in the south of France. Um, and I have it. This is just my second time styling it today for you. But she's just beautiful. And I got her from ASOS. Remember ASOS? And I've had this one, this dress about, I think about 12 years I've had it. Right? Just beautiful. Stunning. And with this dress, I kept the heels very simple because when you have a garment that is as adorned as this with all of this sequence on it, this is the feature. So you want to keep everything else very simple. Everything that you accessorize with it, keep it very simple because the dress itself is fe the feature with all of this uh, sequence on it, right? So I just went with these. Sam Edelman city sandals, these gold, tarnished gold city sandals, right? And again, kept it very simple, very streamlined with the, my geometric clutch here that I have linked for you before. Again, I bought this one from Zara some years ago, but I know that they're also available on Amazon, which I will link for you. But isn't that awesome? Just beautiful. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more especially in this case. Yes, look number two. Look number three. Oh, something beautiful for you. Look number three. I went with this lilac lavender suit from Banana Republic. Look at that, these trousers. Beautiful, with these boot cut trousers. And this single breasted blazer, right? 
Now, again, sometimes less is more because you want to put your detailing into your accessories. But I just love this color. I didn't think that my daughter and I were talking about it um, yesterday and today, actually. And she was like, Mom, I didn't think that I would love to suit this color, but I'm really feeling it. And I said, I know I have nothing else in my wardrobe, this color, but I was really feeling this color. I actually ran across this. Of course, you know, I am a Banana Republic stan. Banana Republic stand. So I have to get a suit from B Banana Republic at least every few months or so because I just love the quality of their, um, their clothing. And remember specifically, Banana Republic factory. I personally think that Banana Republic proper is way overpriced. I don't know who their um, uh, director is at this point uh, and the, their head designer, but they are really pricing themselves um, out these days. And I just think that the prices are astronomical and not worth the offerings. But Banana Republic Factory, excellent. The pricing is excellent as well as the uh, garment offerings. So check them out for sure. Uh, but again, that is Banana Republic proper. And I styled it with these beautiful, beautiful, just stunning shoots sandals, right? And of course, these actually uh, tie around and up the ankle. Look at that. Aren't these stunning? And the color is perfection. Now, again, as I've said before, you don't have to be matchy matchy when you're styling, but it was a complete coup. Remember, I told you I'm excellent at purchasing items in a color and then getting something in the same color, even if I don't have that item with me. And this was one of those times, right? Just beautiful. These are just stunning. Again, I've worn these in the South of France as well for a performance, and I love these. I look for opportunities to wear these, but as I said, I don't have much of this color in my wardrobe, but these are, these are keepers. These are the kind of shoes that you get, you know, to just add to your collection, but they're all leather. Again, they're by Schutz, S-C-H-U-T as in Tom, Z as in zebra. And again, in terms of shoe wear, I am a Schutz Stan, but I think that the piece of article, the, the article um, that made this look in its entirety was this clutch. Pow! Is this not beautiful? Is this not beautiful? Just stunning, stunning, stunning. And you're not going to believe this. Yes, I'm going to link it for you in the description, but this clutch adorned with this beautiful floral detailing with this lavender inlay here. Is this not beautiful? And also the details, I really want you to see the details on this clutch. Look at the rhinestone detailing across the front here and then the rhinestones on the clasp here, right? Look at that, just beautiful. This clutch, I know, the suspense. This clutch is from Amazon. I actually got this clutch on Amazon. Can you believe it? On Amazon. Yes, I will link it for you. It's 20 something dollars, not expensive at all, but just beautiful satin with this ruching on the back, right? But this clutch was the piece de resistance for this look. Just beautiful. Did it not match wonderfully? With this color, just stunning. I'm in love and I'm definitely going to actively wear, look for an opportunity to wear um, that suit again with, just so that I can carry this clutch again and wear these shoes again. These super cute little city sandals are just stunning. I'm in love with them. The entire look really came together, right? Tell me what you think. I'm curious to see, to hear your thoughts on that look in particular. And then our uh, final look, our fourth and final look is me giving myself my flowers now because I have accomplished so much in life. I'm so very proud of the woman that I am and the woman that I am becoming, that I'm blooming and blossoming into because you should never stop growing, right? Um, but I really wanted to just take an opportunity to acknowledge myself 
publicly for all that I have done and accomplished and achieved in my life, especially um, with my story, my backstory, which I will share with you as we uh, our friendship and um, uh, our relationship unfolds. Um, but yes, I, I've done a lot in my life. I'm very proud of, um, as you know, I'm incredibly proud of my daughter and uh, my grands. And um, yeah, I'm just really um, excited about what's to come for me in the coming years. And I wanted to give an extra special, again, shout out to you all, my viewers, for sticking with me and for getting me over. This is another reason to celebrate this episode because I am now fully monetizable. I was giving myself a year to do so, but I did it in six months. And what a birthday present, right? Because I got the official notice last week that I was cleared to monetize, which meant you had to have a thousand plus subscribers plus 4,000 uh, watched hours to be able to monetize. So yay, because of you, because of your support, your continued support, your um, riding with me, joining my community of muses, I couldn't be more grateful and more thankful to you all. Um, yes. Surprise, surprise, right? But again, I could not have done it without people like you. I love you all. And I've met some wonderful, wonderful pre people. Vivica, Kim, um, Deborah. Um, there's a ton of you, um, Sharon. Um, gosh, there's so many of you, Christopher. Um, yeah, that are rock with me and ride with me week to week. So I thank you all so very much. But again, without further ado, look number four, because what I am giving myself my flowers now. Now, you remember I said in a previous episode that I'm not a floral girl, but this is um, this look, of course, is symbolic again of what I just said, talked to you about. I just spoke to you about. And again, flowers, flowers, flowers. I want my flowers now. I'm not going to wait until I'm gone. As a matter of fact, I'm going to learn. I am learning to celebrate myself more. So starting here with this floral number, right? Look at this. Beautiful. And yes, you are seeing it's actually all see-through. Yes, I did it. I went there. It's all see-through. But look at the embroidery on this suit. And when I tell you where I got it from, you're going to be like, uh-uh, no. I don't believe you. Look at that, all embroidered. Every stitch of this suit is embroidered. Just beautifully done too. Again, yes, it is completely see-through, but undergarments did come with it. I did use tape um, on my, my breast area, but it does come with these boy um, shorts uh, for lining under. Because, yes, you have to have the right undergarments to wear under this suit. You can't just, you know, bust out willy nilly. You got to make sure that you're covering um, the, the unmentionables properly. Right. But she is just beautiful. Right. When I saw this suit, I actually purchased a different one. And I actually sent that suit back because I couldn't get my mind off of this suit. Look at all of that beautiful color in there, which really screams spring does it not and as an april aries spring baby spring right just beautiful i really want you to get the effect of this embroidery do you see the shimmer there it's like a metallic embroidery again on the entire suit is like that just beautiful right and of course to bring out that red that's in there to bring out the red, I went with this Nina satin red platform. Now I've had these red, you probably heard in the episode uh, with my daughter. She mentioned something about some red uh, satin platforms. These are the shoes that she was um, talking about. I've had these about 15, 16 years. Yeah, again, from Nina shoes. You know, I rock with Nina shoes, right? But just beautiful to bring out that red in there, those red roses in there, right? Stunning. 
And it's such a rich garnet red, right? It goes down again through the entirety of this stacked heel. Again, generous platform. And I love the substantial straps on it as well. They're not dainty, but just, again, very uh, uh, su substantial, right? You can walk in these forever. I have actually worn these on the stage a lot because they're still beautiful, sexy, um, very demure, but still appropriate um, for the stage and uh, just incredibly comfortable, right? Nina shoes. Again, I've had these about 15, 16 years. And then I kept the um, accessory, the clutch, very simple, as I did with my jewelry and things like that, because you don't need extra. When you have that kind of floral detailing on your garments, you don't need all this extracurricular stuff going on. You want to keep your accessories like your earrings and uh, uh, um, your, your hand candy uh, as simple as possible. So, yes, I went with this little gold patina clutch, which, you, again, you've seen with the, fur, the second outfit with the dress, right? But keep it simple. Whenever you have an, a garment or an item that is uh, adorned um, generously, you want to keep your accessories as simple as possible, right? You, you want to avoid doing too much so as to take away um, from the look of the feature um, of your entire ensemble. Because sometimes the feature can be what? The feature can be this clutch, right? I am so in love with this clutch and the shoes. But because that suit was so simple and the color is what we really were focusing on, you, you, I wanted to do something that was a bit extra, right? And I achieved that with this clutch. So there you have it. Four looks for you, four of my birthday suits. I hope you enjoyed them. Please let me know which was your favorite or two or three or maybe all of them. You found something that you liked about all of them. I, I would appreciate it. But even if you loved one of them, if one of them can work for you, then I've, I, I, I've achieved my goal, right? So thank you so very much for joining me on another episode, my birthday episode of Suits Souls by EPP. And don't forget to head on over to Instagram and follow me there, if you will, at Suits Souls by EPP. And again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if indeed you're not already subscribed to the channel. But again, thank you so very much. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I could not be here. And I don't, um, I don't, I, I continue to come back every week because of people like you that I have met from all over the world who have continued to be so gracious and generous to me and my little engine that could. Suits Souls by EPP. But until we meet again, <laughs>